Today, we're going to be comparing the high speed Silent Wing 4 against the standard one. The high speed version has 1,900 RPM on the fan compared to 1,100. And we're also going to chuck in the Pro model as well to compare it against that. We're not going to go too in depth with this review because we've already reviewed the non high speed ones on the Pro version in a separate video. And this is basically just a slightly faster version. But as you can see, the box, you can see the product tells you the name. The only difference between this and the non high speed one is, well, it says high speed on it. And that's pretty much it. The back of the box, like the other Be Quiet products, is very hard to read because they've got sort of like a grey silver writing on a black background. And it's very hard to make out. And you've also got a QR code there as well. Inside the box, you've got the fan itself, obviously. You've also got four additional corners you can swap out. We'll look into that in a few seconds. You've got some push pins with washers as well as four screws. Okay, let's have a quick look at the fan. So obviously you've got these ridged blades. The new Silent Wings blades come all the way to the edge of the case and with very little distance between the edge and the actual fin itself. The center's blacked out rather than having the multicolored orange and white center, which makes it look better when it is actually spinning. It doesn't make it look uneven. On the back, you've got your standard stuff, your specifications on there. So pretty straightforward. The only difference between this and the Pro version is there is a little switch on the back where you can change the speed on the Pro version. But otherwise, you've got the nice braided cable there. It's this PWM connection, which basically means when you plug it in your motherboard, it will adjust the speed depending on the temperature of the component it's hooked up to. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for the casing. It's a uh, standard thickness, but the big difference in these is you can swap out the corners. Now the corners can be a little bit fiddly to undo, to be honest, and the reasons why you'd swap them out is because the corners what you've got fitted on here are designed for the push pins. If you pr prefer the corners what you want to screw in, you basically push these two little clips together. You can see them here, there's like little clips that you just push in and it allows you to pull the corner out. But saying that, they can be a little bit fiddly, you might have to do one side then the other, but once it's pulled out, you take it off, you get the other corner and you push it on and it should clip into place. There we go. So down to testing, all testing was done on the same system using an i7-12700K. We teamed up two fans on each of the tests on a water cooler to get the average and max temperatures over 30 minutes of testing with Cinebench. As you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the Silent Wings 4 high speed got 68 degrees Celsius, which is exactly the same as the Silent Wings 4 Pro when it's running at high speed. And I'm guessing we're going to get a similar sort of testing result throughout all the tests. On this test, we do the same thing again, but this is the maximum temperature the CPU got up to. And as you can see here, the Silent Wings 4 got up to 84 degrees Celsius, one degree higher than the Silent Wing 4 Pro running at high speed and roughly three degrees hotter than when the Silent Wings 4 Pro was running at ultra speed. But compared to the standard Silent Wings 4, it came in at nine degrees cooler. So that's pretty good. On this next test, we do the same thing again, but now the fans and the pumps are all running at 100% speed. The average temperature was 60 degrees for the high speed model compared to the Silent Wings 4 Pro, which was also 60 degrees, funnily enough. It still came in four degrees cooler though than the standard Silent Wing 4, so it is definitely performing pretty well. On the next test coming up, it's exactly the same thing again, but we've got the maximum temperature rather than the average. And as you can see here, the maximum temperature came in at 74 degrees. And again, exactly the same as the Silent Wings 4 Pro, which is pretty good. Four degrees cooler than the Silent Wings Standard 4. And it comes in roughly one degree cooler than this old Silent Wing 3, which it's replacing. Okay, now down to decibels or how loud this actually is so all testing was done in the same room same levels which is 37.4 decibels and we're checking the actual decibel level over the ambient room so the silent wings 4 high speed came in at seven decibels that was roughly two decibels quieter than the silent wings 4 pro running at high speed but saying that it's within margin of error but still a little bit louder than for example the standard silent wings 4 and a little bit quieter than the older Silent Wings 3. So you've got something for everyone there, roughly. 
In conclusion, well, you've got quite a few different choices for fans. You've got the old Silent Wings 3, you've got the Silent Wings 4, you've got the high speed version as well, and you've also got the Pro version, which gives you free options for speeds as well. So there's something for everyone here. And as we've already reviewed the other fans in the past, we gave them a highly recommended score. We're also giving these our highly recommended score. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you would like more information about these fans, we did a review of the Silent Wing 4 as well as the Silent Wing 4 Pro just up here. So click that box and you'll be able to see it. Otherwise, if you want to see Be Quiet's 20th Anniversary Case, the Pure Base 2 FX, then click this box down here.